Hi guys, guess what? We're gonna do another DIY and it's another body glow DIY. This one went viral on Twitter. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video of what I'm going to be trying today. So basically we're going to be taking baby oil and Artist Couture highlighters. We're going to mix them together and we're gonna see if we can get a dupe for Fenty's Body Lava or the same type of effect with a little travel size baby oil and whatever highlighter you already have in your collection. So basically I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts if I would recommend that you try this for yourself. So let's get into it. So I will say you guys got angry with me that I did not use a funnel in my last DIY to get the product into the container. This is going to frustrate you even more because there is a stopper in this baby oil. This is a travel size Johnson & Johnson baby oil and I cannot get the stopper out of this container. So what I did was I made the hole bigger with a screw. I am not the most resourceful person. I should either get another container or drill the hole even bigger, but I am not going to do that because I actually want it to be in this container so you guys can see the nice little shimmering glow and whatever. We're gonna get it in there one way or another. If it bugs you, I'm sorry. So today I'm gonna use two Artist Couture highlighters. I'm gonna use probably close to the entire mini Illuminati and I'm going to use a bunch of the Yoss because I also don't think I used enough highlighter in my last DIY. It did work but it was very hard for you guys to see on camera so today I'm really going to try to put as much as I can into this without being super super wasteful. I did pump out a little bit of this baby oil so that I had room for some powder but I am going to go ahead and start mixing these together and I will set you guys up so you can see what I'm doing. It's not going to be cute if you guys are OCD like me you probably won't like it because I'm going to create like a tiny funnel to get these products in there and it's probably gonna make a mess so I'm sorry but gotta do what you gotta do so as you guys can see there is a stopper in there which makes this difficult for me I could put it into another container but I don't have another clear container handy and I want this to look nice so I will be using a majority of my Illuminati highlighter which is this little gold one this is a mini I have a large in my collection so that's why I'm not worried about using all of this So now I want to add some of the Yoss shade. And the whole point of me trying this out, you guys, is to let you guys know the true honest experience. Like when you see these little short clips, they're showing the end result and the very like minimum. It actually does take a little bit of work and it can be very annoying. So it is a messy job and that's what I'm showing you guys today. But it definitely could be made easier if you have the right tools. So I'm going to dump in some of my Yas powder. This is going to make it more rose gold than gold. And that's it for the adding. I'm going to clean up my workspace and then we'll mix it. Alright, so here we are after the addition of all of the powder. Now I'm going to mix it together and see what the end result looks like inside the bottle. Do you guys see how pretty this is? It looks gorgeous and I added a ton, a ton more than I did in the Fix Plus video. So hopefully this is enough to really show up on the skin. So let's try it out. So I am going to try it on my body for you guys, but first I'm going to give you like an arm shot just in case I need to add some more to this mixture to get it to glow. Please don't mind my botched tan. Okay, so do you guys see how it gives a sheen? Now, I'm going to add my phone flash to it, which would also give you guys the effect of what it would look like in sunlight. I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera at all, but the glitter particles are definitely visible. So if you're out in the daylight, you will be able to see them. Okay, guys, so we're about to get sloppy because this is 
watery. This is definitely not like the body lava because it is so watery. I feel like if you want that consistency, you're going to need to try to mix with lotion and that's a whole nother avenue to go down. But I honestly have gotten to the point where I want to try the body lava after all of these DIYs, even though it is definitely too pricey for my taste. That's not really something I can justify the money for because I don't use Body Glow products all that often, which is why I wanted to try this out. So I am going to try this on my shoulder, chest area, so you guys can get a look at it. I'm going to take this Jouer foundation brush and see if I can buff it in like the Body Glow but with this big brush. I'm gonna put some into my hand. So runny. It's gonna get all over your clothes. Just be ready for that. I'm going to try to buff this in. Okay, so you guys see the difference with it on and without it. It definitely gives you that body glow. It's not the easiest thing to apply. But like if you're outside by the pool applying this, be careful for one thing because you'll fry. But um, it wouldn't really matter if you're getting messy. So here's how the bod is looking. So here is the effect of the baby oil mixed with highlighter. So before I show you guys what this looks like if you layer highlight on top, I want to let you guys know my thoughts. I definitely think it's a fun summer DIY. Will I use this? Probably as long as I'm being safe about it and wearing SPF and that's what I would suggest to you guys. I have heard that you could do this with other oils so of course if you guys have a more safe or natural oil you could use it. I heard almond oil was really good to try this with. It is a really nice easy way to get a body glow. It's sticky. It's probably going to transfer but I heard the same thing about the Fenty Body Lava. So anything like this, chances are, is going to be a little bit sticky, a little bit greasy because you are basically bathing yourself in an oily type product. It just depends on how you are with feeling greasy, a little bit oily, and of course the going out into the sun aspect is a little bit dangerous. I know that they do have shimmer mists everywhere now and they of course have body glow products that are not made with oil. So test it out if you want to, if you want to be careful about it. It does work. I feel like it would be really nice for like a hot summer day, but like I said, be very careful with your sun care routine. You do not want to end up literally baking yourself with oil in the sunlight. It's not good for you. You could get skin cancer, so I'm not condoning that at all. Of course, you don't have to go out in the sun with this. You can just go out for the night looking nice and glowy. I think it is a really cheap and cool DIY as long as you use what's already in your collection, which you can use whatever highlighter you want. You can scrape some off the top to put into here, or you can use your loose highlighters like I did or probably even some liquid highlight. So I have my full size Illuminati highlighter from Artist Couture. I'm going to dip into it and basically I'm going to set what we created with this highlight. So don't mind my dub chin, but do you guys see how you can see the glitter clearly now? because I put the highlighter on top of the mixture that I already had down. Now, I'm not saying that the girl on Twitter did this for her final result, but I personally think that it is likely because, you know, you put out these videos, you want them to have an extreme result, and I don't personally feel like the mixture alone is an extreme result. So I feel like if you really want to pop, you're gonna want to put some powder highlight down, which in turn, you don't even need this because you can just put the highlight on. Does that make sense? So to wrap up this video, I do think that this is a fun and affordable DIY if you guys do not want to go out and purchase any of the new Body Glow products on the market. I feel like it is really fun. You could probably create a safer version with different products, so please do keep that in mind, but I wanted to test the original that I saw on Twitter. It pretty much went viral and right now the Fenty Body Lava in Who Needs Clothes is sold out. 
So if you guys want an alternative, just throw together some products that you already have in your collection and you will have a pretty similar result. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you guys have any other DIYs that you would like me to test out, then leave them in the comments below and I would be more than happy to start maybe doing a series on my channel where I test out various different DIY hacks. So please tell me if you guys tried this hack, how did it work for you and what highlighters did you use in your oil? I would love to have a discussion with you guys down in the comments, but that is all that I have to say for today's video and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!